Transforming the genetic makeup of a flock of sheep is no longer an intergenerational task. In the space of just six years, Queensland wool grower Stuart Mitchell has changed his 9,000 head merino flock from 21 micron wrinkly sheep to 19 micron plain bodied types. The dramatic change was driven by the decision to cease mulesing and was achieved by having a clear breeding objective, selecting suitable rams using Australian sheep breeding values, and buying teams of similar rams for across the board genetic impact. We started that six or seven years ago and expected it to take about, you know, better than 10 years to get where we wanted to. And it wasn't until this last season when we did the landmark and we put the sheep in the yards and it's just smacked us in the face and we realised that we've got there. You know, we got there probably four or five years quicker than we thought we would. But we haven't lost any size. We've uh, been able to reduce our micron back to an average of around, the, you know, that 19 or 20. You know, generally we're sort of aiming to produce about a 19 micron flock. We don't need to go any finer than that where we are. But I think the most significant thing's been um, the fact that our sheep have become so plain. Um, I can't remember the last time we've had a fly-blown sheep, and we haven't got a. We don't have a mule sheep on the place anymore, and honestly, can't remember the last time we treated a sheep for fly strike. Mr. Mitchell and wife Barb run Cashel Vale at Bollin in southwest Queensland. To achieve their goal of plainer-bodied sheep, Mr. Mitchell switched to purchasing his rams from Errol Brumpton's Well Gully Stud at Mitchell. He set out clear objectives for what he wanted from their genetics. Errol has a really good understanding of, of what we're trying to achieve and he understands our breeding objective. Um, we're big users of ASBVs, they've been, uh, I believe that they've been uh, the reason we've made such progress so quickly, they've, they're just becoming so accurate. So the process is when we go, we ring Errol and um, tell him what we're looking for, you know, we, you know, we don't always buy the same rams, you know, and sometimes we're trying to um, do some compensatory mating if you like, so some of our smaller ewes that are coming through that probably have some really good wool traits and some good fertility traits and things like that but we're just trying to get a bit more size into them. You know we can go to Errol and say well I, you know I need half a dozen rams that are going to put a bit of size into them and I need 10 rams that are going to give me that fatness and the crimp and, and uh, the fleece weight and the micron that I'm looking for. The system of buying teams has proven more cost effective than trying to pick a handful of winners on auction day based on visual selection alone. We're, you know, we're looking for the best average we can get, so we might be able to buy a particular ram that stands out that has really strong ASBVs for the things we're looking for in our breeding objective, but over our entire flock it's just not going to do it for us. You know, we need a really high average ASBV, and I think, I think that's, that's been one of the secrets for us getting there so quickly is being able to buy teams of rams that are going to do the job for us. 